Hi, this is Eric Webster with EXP Realty here in Royal Palm Beach, Florida, one of the hidden gems in Palm Beach County. One of the great parts about this community is you can purchase a home for between $100,000 to $200,000 less than similar areas like West Palm Beach, which is only 10 to 15 minutes away. In fact, you're only a 15 minute drive from the ocean and you have all the amenities that you'd want in a great area. So we're gonna do a full community tour with things to do, school information, and then also we're gonna do a drive-through of several different communities in the 300, 400 and $500,000 range. So let's go ahead and please hit the like and the subscribe button. Thank you so much and let's get started with our tour. Thank you so much for joining us on this home tour. Now Royal Palm Beach is a really interesting area within Palm Beach County. It's about 15 minutes away from the beach and about 10 to 15 minutes away from Palm Beach Airport. It lies to the west of West Palm Beach, Florida. So it's a little bit more inland. Um, there's a lot of value to be had here. You can get a lot of houses for between $100,000 to $200,000 less than equivalent parts of West Palm Beach. A lot of good values to be had of homes that were built in the 80s, 90s, and 2000s. Now, Royal Palm Beach was ranked as one of the top 10 best towns for families by Family Circle Magazine. And also one of the nice parts about it is for every 1,000 residents, they have to set aside 10 acres of parkland. So just like you can see behind me here, there's lots of beautiful park space and it's been laid out really, really nicely. Also the shopping here is great. Uh, lots of surrounding malls, Walmarts, uh, Publix is always very popular for grocery shopping. Um, there's all, of course, if you really want to go to the high-end stuff, there's a lot of high-end malls that are only maybe 10, 20, 30 minutes away. So you're not out in a rural area by any means. So you're right in the middle of the action while still getting some good values on homes that are a little bit older. So if you're looking for a good neighborhood family or for an area where you can get settled in reasonably, especially if you're used to out-of-state prices from like New York or California, you will be shocked absolutely shocked at what you can get here between five hundred to seven hundred thousand dollars on the high end and you'll be absolutely amazed what you can get in the three to four hundred thousand dollar range so let's go through some of the amenities and let's talk a little bit about the population so here in the population is about forty one thousand people as of 2021 um, and one of the nice parts about it is it's really not overcrowded. I mean, the roads are laid out really nicely. Uh, there's not a whole lot of congestion. Um, overall, I would say it's pretty reasonable as far as drive. Now, one of the nice things is you're right near uh, the turnpike. So just to help you understand how South Florida is laid out, think of it as three major road systems going up South Florida. So to the furthest west, you have I-75 on this side. Kind of sort of in the middle, you have the Turnpike, which takes you more to Orlando. And then on this side, you have I-95, which takes you more towards Jacksonville and Tallahassee. So with this, you're really a little bit closer to the Turnpike. So uh, the Turnpike would be about a five to 10 minute drive to get onto the Turnpike and either head north or south. And then if you wanted to go to I-75, uh, you're looking more at probably closer to about a 20 minute drive towards the west. And then if you're looking to go to I-95, which uh, would be to the east near to the ocean, to that you'd be about uh, 10, 15 minutes away. So it's very, very reasonable and it's nearby a lot of major road fares. So you're really not having to go that far out, uh, especially if your office is located within reasonable distance. Uh, I would say it would take you about 20 minutes to 25 minutes uh, with fast driving to get you to Fort Lauderdale and it'll take you about 10, 15 minutes to get you to uh, West Palm Beach. And then if you wanna go a little bit more north of here to like Jupiter, you're looking at somewhere closer to about 30 minutes. And if you have to go down to Miami, really reasonably, I, you could be there within about 45 minutes to an hour, just depending on Miami traffic, which is a lot rougher uh, than the traffic out here. So very, very reasonable, not over congested. You don't have to worry about everybody going bumper to bumper like it would be in uh, California or other states if you're used to that type of lifestyle. So let's go a little bit into some of the different uh, parts and things that you can do in this area as far as amenities and as far as community activities. Now, the first of the great activities in the area is the Dupois Nature Area. Now, this is comprised of nearly 22,000 acres, and the Nature Center is a renowned center for scientific and environmental studies, and it really offers visitors a variety of interactive programs relating to the natural world. 
Uh, many of the programs there are targeted towards grade school students and their teachers, and they include guest speakers, guided tours, and workshops that promote activity and involvement. One of the nice things, if you're really into this, is they also offer popular stargazing events that are held in conjunction with a local astronomical society. And really, it's a great family place to take your kids or your rest of your family. And uh, it's just a beautiful, beautiful area if you ever go through there. And you can take a whole day and just make a really good day of it. One of the neat things to do is the Ann Norton Sculpture Gardens. It has over a hundred different statues that were made by Ann Weaver Norton. Um, also, it has community events and artistic events all throughout the year. So if you're an artistic soul, there's all kinds of local events with local artists and musicians that are constantly going on out there all year round. Definitely worth checking out. Now, about 15 to 20 minutes away, is Dixie Highway, where they have the Antique Row and Art District. It features dozens of antique shops, don't tell my wife please, uh, dozens of antique shops and art galleries. And it's a great place just to walk through. And if you're into decorating your house with curiosities and things from a different era, lots of great things. And I've also been through the art galleries there. Absolutely beautiful if you really wanna put something nice into your house that's unique from local artists. Now, one of the more interesting things that's tucked away is the Florida Power and Light Manatee Lagoon and Eco Discovery Area. Now, if you're not familiar with what a manatee is, uh, they're also called sea cows. They're kind of unique to South Florida. Uh, manatees are one of Florida's most iconic animal species. And really, it's nice. You can get a glimpse of these very gentle creatures. Uh, they're marine herbivores. They only eat uh, vegetation. Uh, and what's nice is you can go there and sightings are very common, especially in the winter months when the cooler ocean temperatures kind of draw them in. And the reason why is because the power plant there has warm water that goes out, so the manatees are attracted by that when the water gets cooler. Uh, it's a great place to spend a couple of hours on a weekend with the family. Really a neat experience, and I hope you really enjoy that. Also is the world famous Kravis Center for the Performing Arts. There they have opera, ballet, uh, performative events, uh, various musicians come through. It's world famous, one of the most beautiful uh, performing arts centers in North America. And quite frankly, a lot of very rich people put a lot of money into it with their legacies. So if you're really looking for something that's world class, that can stand up with anything that New York or even San Francisco or uh, LA would have, the Kravis Center for Performing Arts is right there. And it's definitely part of the West Palm Beach lifestyle. So it's absolutely beautiful and it ties in really nicely with your wanting to live here and really just enjoy everything that South Florida can offer you. Now, another popular option is the Village Golf Club. It's located right here in Royal Palm Beach and it's an 18 hole par 72 public golf course that's a favorite of locals. Uh, plays about 6,900 yards. So let's next go into the various neighborhood tours. So let's show you some homes that are in the 300, 400, and $500,000 range. Hi, let's begin our home tour here in Counterpoint Estates. Counterpoint Estates is a great area in the high 200s all the way through the high 300s. Most of the homes land between uh, about 310 to about $350,000. A lot of two and three bedroom homes that were built in the 80s all the way through to the early 90s. Uh, it's definitely an established neighborhood, very quiet as I'm walking through it. Uh, people are walking around, really nice, um, taking their dogs to the local park really worth checking out, especially if you're looking for something uh, that's really, really of value. Uh, schools are fairly good, and we'll go through the school information as we do the neighborhood drive through but this should just kind of give you a flavor of what the neighborhood looks like behind me. Really, really nice, just a nice slice of America. So let's go ahead and do the drive through of this area just to kind of get a feel for what it'll look like for you.
Hi, welcome to Saratoga Lakes, which is part of the larger Madison Green Master Plan community. These homes were built in the middle to late 90s. Uh, typically, they have three, four, and five bedroom options. Now, this is a very nice area. Uh, the community here has a community pool, also a community tennis court. Um, also, it has a lot of other amenities that are part of Madison Green. For example, uh, with this, you'll have multiple golf courses that you can play at. And one of the nice parts is just walking through this neighborhood. Once again, this is a really nice neighborhood, uh, very quiet. Uh, you can definitely tell the neighbors take a lot of pride. Uh, there are no gates on this community, so it's drive-in access at all times. One of the nice things I really like about it is just walking around, the homes are kept immaculate by the homeowners association. So they've done a very good job here of keeping it up. Uh, definitely something to check out. Uh, so once again, the homes will price usually between the middle 300s all the way through to the low 400s, depending on the floor plan. Uh, jogging paths, biking paths, um, lots of things to do in this area. So definitely a good option. Uh, let's do a real quick scan of the pool and the tennis courts, and then we'll do a quick drive through of the area with all the other amenities and shopping that'll be put up in the screen as well. Hi, we're in one of the more established communities called the Willows. Uh, the Willows were built in the middle to late 1970s, and they typically average between 1,900 and 2,300 square feet. On average, they're about $270 to $290 per square foot per house, a lot of two and three bedrooms. Uh, it's a more established community. Uh, there's no homeowners association, so there's a lot of value to be had here on the monthly payment. Uh, definitely something worth checking out. As we drive through the neighborhood, uh, you'll find that it's very peaceful, very quiet, uh, very, very nice. Um, so let's just take a real quick drive through the area and just kind of see what it looks like.
Hi, I'm here in an area called Saddlebrook. Very nice area. The homes usually go between the low 400s to high 400s. Uh, right now, they're going for about $290 to $300 per square foot. Average home is about $2,200 to about $2,500 square feet. Uh, a mix of one and two story bedroom homes. A uh, very peaceful community, uh, has a homeowners association with a very modest um, fee. The current dues are $25 a month, nothing too heavy. Uh, looks very well maintained, a uh, very clean neighborhood. Uh, definitely something to check out. So let's do a real quick drive through and just kind of get a flavor of how this particular neighborhood looks.